This is Joe Dillard here with Legacy Maker Sports, and we are here live at the 2024 Ally ACC Women's Tournament in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I'm telling you, this has been a great tournament just for the first two days. So as we step into the quarterfinals, I am anticipating some great basketball. And then here's the recap of day two and what has happened. In the first game today, Louisville took on Boston College, who came out off of yesterday's win with a lot of momentum. Looked to be poised early as they gave Louisville everything they could handle. Sophomore, which actually seems to be the theme of this tournament early, Taya Sidbury came out on fire for the Lady Eagles, had 22 points and was constantly answering every run that Louisville threw at them. Ultimately, with Boston College up at 115 left in the game, Louisville just continued to pour and level up on their level of intensity and fought back and clawed back, winning 58 to 55. As they avoid that scare, they will face Notre Dame in the quarterfinals. In the second matchup, you had the North Carolina Tar Heels versus the Miami Hurricanes. And in the very beginning, you had a sea of blue throughout the Greensboro Coliseum pushing on the Tar Heels as they gained a double-digit lead well early into the second quarter. Uh, just right before the half, with about three seconds left, you had... Jaleel Williams hitting a half-court shot, bringing the lead down to seven, which apparently would have been all they needed as they dominated the second half, winning the second half by plus eight and upsetting the Tar Heels in what would seem to have been a home game for them. Uh, and that definitely is something that Miami might have just allowed themselves to go into the tournament with. So that was a huge win for the Lady Hurricanes. They will move on and face Virginia Tech Friday at 1.30. In the afternoon game, we had Duke versus Georgia Tech. Duke definitely looks poised for a run as they have challenged themselves this season, having hard competition at the beginning of the year and also running this gauntlet of an ACC. Uh, but they look to face Georgia Tech, who defeated Pittsburgh in day one. And it just seemed like Duke was ready for the challenge as they applied pressure throughout the whole first half. Uh, just really dominating in the paint, getting anything and everything that they wanted. Uh, I believe it was going into a double digit first half, first quarter approach. Uh, so they definitely had the first half locked down. And that's the thing about the tournament. You've got to punch them early. And as Virginia native Carol Lawson has done, she may have built a sisterhood that just might set the new standard. Uh, they had no problems winning 70 to 58. Uh, they will advance on to face the number two seed, North Carolina Wolfpack. That will be at 530. Uh, that's definitely going to be a great game. In the nightcap, we had Florida State versus Wake Forest, who took out UVA the night before uh, as a small upset, the 14 beating the 11, and came in with a little bit of energy, but it was just not enough today as Florida State took on all levels of the court. I mean, defensively, points in the paint, steals, they were definitely a force to be reckoned with, and they play like a real big unit. Um, they definitely had uh, a big advantage tonight shooting um, from the line, going to the paint, getting fouls drawn. So they were very aggressive. If Michaela Timpson can be aggressive like that and hit free throws like she did, Florida State's going to be a tough out for the tournament. Uh, she had a double-double with 22 points and 12 rebounds, and they had a fairly easy win and will advance to face uh, Syracuse tomorrow at the 730 tip-off.